what's up guys so Apple just finished uh, their event for the iPod 2 and I'm gonna get right into uh, all the information about it, about it first of all it comes out March 11th at 5 p.m. in stores doesn't seem like there uh, is a pre-order yet or maybe there will be before that date but right now there's not so you will have to go at 5 p.m. to your uh, to your store or on March 11th so um, it comes in black and white which is awesome. I've seen. I looked. At, I saw the white one online, and it looks amazing. Uh, if I was gonna suggest anyone to get the iPad 2, it would be the white one because it looks amazing. It is. It, it just looks awesome with the with the back aluminum and stuff like that. It's really good. Um, it is 33% thinner than the old one, and 15% uh, lighter. It brings a, a dual core A5 chip, and all of that put together into a thinner uh, tablet it's amazing um, it still has a 10 hours of battery that the old one does so it's amazing what they can do with uh, with the tablets and stuff like that it brings a front facing camera and a back facing camera uh, the front one has a VGA and the back one is 720p and it brings for the iOS uh, 4.3 it'll have photo booth which is awesome so you can have photo booth on your iPad now it does also bring uh, FaceTime for the iPad, so you can do FaceTime to a Mac or an iPad, another, well not another iPad, of course another iPad, but an iPad, iPhone, iTouch, your Mac, stuff like that, which is really good. And you can use the front facing camera or the back facing camera for the, for the FaceTime. Um, a really cool thing is the graphics, they pump it up really good. Uh, you, it supports HDMI out, so you can have 1080p. To support uh, to connect it to your TV or something like that, so you can show what's on your iPad on the TV. So that's really cool. I'm uh, really looking forward to that. It brings a gyro accelerometer and the compass, and uh, really cool things that they made. Uh, they're actually bringing GarageBand and iMovie to the iPad, and from what I've seen, they are kick ass. They actually rival the ones on the mm -hmm. Mac because. What everything they can do is almost the same thing as the Mac or not better. So I think that's really cool. Uh, the Garage Pen you can actually connect a guitar to and play, or you can just use the one they uh, like a touch one they bring in in there. So it's really cool. Um, let's talk a little bit about the uh, iOS 4.3. I'll have uh, JavaScript, which is going to be twice as fast as the old one. So uh, Safari is going to be even faster, and iTunes sharing, iTunes home sharing. Uh, and the personal hotspot for the iPhone 4. The prices for uh, the iPad are actually going to be uh, 16 gigs is 4.99 uh, with the Wi-Fi. 32 gigs for the Wi-Fi is 5.99. 64 gigs is 6.99 uh, for the uh, uh, Wi-Fi and 3GS and 3G, 3G only 3G is 16 gigs for 6.29. 32 for 7.29. And 64 gigs for 829, which are really awesome because they just, uh, Motorola just came out with the Zoom, which is which is 800 dollars, and there's these prices for pretty much a device that kicks ass and beats the Zoom. Uh, it's incredible. The only thing the Zoom has going for it is 4G, which uh, the iPad 2 only has 3G, but is 3G really that important? 3 uh, 4G hasn't come out all the way yet. And the iPad actually works on uh, the Verizon AT&T, so we'll see uh, the prices for that, how they rival each other. And you could actually get the old iPad for three ninety nine right now. So actually, I don't know if it's right now, but I saw it was three ninety nine. So that's really cool. I mean, if you don't have the money to afford the brand new one, at least you can still get the old one for three ninety nine, which is a pretty good price for uh, what you get. Just that the new ones, of course, are uh, a lot better and it does bring a lot more stuff to it. Um, they did introduce uh, something like a smart cover for the iPad, which uh, uses magnets to connect to it. As you can see, uh, it kind of just folds and you can put it under your iPad so you can type on it and stuff like that. Or you can use it as a cover for your for your uh, the front. And supposedly when you open it, it will turn on the, uh, the iPad or put it to sleep if you close it. So that's pretty interesting, but um, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, if you have any more questions, just comment below. I'll make sure I answer them. 
I'll be trying to put more info out if I find out more and stuff like that. So just stay tuned, uh, subscribe, like, and all this cool stuff that you guys can do. Um, and just leave a comment if you like the iPad, if you're getting the iPad, if you're looking forward to it, or if you're just going to get the old one. All right, thanks, guys, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace. For 10% off your entire sale at unlimitedcase.com, use the discount code Andres R0D.